Welcome back to Venice Beach, California, yaymath.org. This is where I give free math video lessons for the world to enjoy, uh, surrounded by the iconic Venice Beach promenade. This is called Teach on the Beach. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Rock and roll, Teach on the Beach. I'm the Teach, and that's... The beach, got it, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about percents, okay? This is my young friend Trey, just met him. And Trey, have you ever been out to dinner? Yes. yes. What would be like a, a possible bill that the check would be? Like when they say, thank you for eating, this is it's pizza or whatever, like sandwiches or Italian, what would it be? It could be anything. Thank you for eating. They would say thank chicken. you for eating chicken. How much would the how much would the bill be? A hundred bucks. That's cool. A hundred bucks. Let's do a hundred bucks. Okay. So generally speaking, people leave a tip, right? You heard of that before, right? That's like you're saying the waiter or waitress, like thank you, I had a good time, um, and uh, you you helped us and you served us well, and here's some extra money. If you want to be generous, twenty percent works. Do you happen to know what 20% of 100 is? Good job, good job. 20% of 100, how much money is that? He's thinking, that's all I wanted, man. That's all I wanted. Well, maybe we could do what's something my dad taught me. All right, I'm gonna give you a little trick. My dad taught me this cool trick, right? You're right, it is 20. I'm glad, well done. All right, so what he said was, if you ever wanna get 10% of something, you move the decimal over how many places? Two. Well, if you moved it over two, that'd be the number one. Did you say it was one or did you say it was 10? Ten. You said it was 10. So how many places are we gonna move that thing? We're gonna, well, how many places are we gonna move it until it becomes 10? I wanna move it right here. Two. Well, we've moved it two, we're here now. And that's the number one. Do you wanna leave a $1 tip for a $100 meal? No, we don't want to leave a one dollar, man. That'd be like, oh, I thought I would. One. one. Good job, man. Good job. That's the idea, right? We're removing the fear of being wrong. You okay, know? Because I thought it was the, the, the one would be three and then that would be two. That's totally right. Yeah. That's right. It's right there. So that's what my dad taught me. 10% is move the decimal over once, right? Yeah. So then let's double it. What would 20% be, my man? 20. 20. Good job. So what's 20% of 100 bucks? 20. 20 bucks. How much are we leaving at the table? Uh, 100. 120, bravo. Yeah. Well done, well done. Now I'm gonna challenge you with something a little harder. <laughs> what if it wasn't 100 bucks, right? Yeah. I'm gonna make it 80 bucks, dude. You're doing great. So 100. Well, let's find out. Oh no, it's not gonna be 20 bucks anymore because it's, we ordered less food. Okay. Okay, but we're gonna do that decimal thing, okay? We're gonna do that decimal thing, okay. Hit me with the 10%, my man. 10% is Zero. Zero. move it over once. Where does it go? Really? Because then, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what does it become, man? If you move it from here and you move it once and the decimal, eight. eight. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, no, I, I get it now. I'm glad. 10% is how much money? Try again? No, eight. Eight, there it is. You're doing great, you're doing really well. 10% is eight bucks. So double it, 20% is how much money? 16. 16, like a champ. How much are we giving? $16. How much are we leaving at the table? You're right, $96, $96. fantastic. So the standard tip actually isn't 20%, it's 15. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, yeah, it's like, that's like the minimum amount you wanna leave, you know? It's like just 15. So now you've done really well with this. You're ready for 15%. Look at you, you're already doing percents, man. You're already doing it. I don't need these anymore. Watch this. You're doing great. Okay, so I don't want 15, I don't want 20. So we're like, yeah, you know, we're gonna leave 15% today, okay? So a really cool trick is to still do 10%. 10% of 80 is how much? 10% of 80 is eight. Good job, good job. 
That wasn't a lack of trust thing. I was just letting you think about it again. That's all that was, right? It's not like I don't trust <laughs> that you're not going to look at it. 5%, half of it. How much? Half of the 10? Half of the 10% is how much money? Uh, four. Boss, good job. Go. Even if you were wrong, it's totally fine. But you're right. You have to be right. Hey, give him a hand, everyone, so far. This is awesome. This is cool. So uh, what do these two together make? Twelve bucks. How much are we leaving at the table for tip? Ninety-two. Nice. Yeah, that was my next question. You're ahead of me. Well done. Ninety-two. Twelve bucks. Good job. You just did fifteen percent of eighty. Cool. Can you stay for a little more? I understand if you have to leave. Is he cool? We're good. Okay, rocking. Look, you're gonna you're getting better and better. You know, each time. All I want. I have one request. If you don't get it right away, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep, just keep thinking. No! It's okay. <laughs> it's totally fine. All right, now we're gonna do two fifths. As a, that's what you said, you like fractions when you first came up. We want this as a percent, blank percent. How do we do that? Exactly. How do we do that? How do we do that? Any suggestions? Make it 25. You're on to something. You're on to something. So do you agree, if you can make this into something over 100, if you can make it over 100, would you know what percent that is? If I can make it over 100. Right, I'll give you an example. Like if I said 63 over 100, right? If I said that, what percent is that? Take, yeah, take your time, take your time. What percent is 63 over 100? Wait, um, how is this? Wait, so this is the 100%? Is, it, is this the percent or 63? You're right, it's the 63 is the percent. Okay. Right, you know what percent even means? We never even defined it, right? Yeah. Per means out of cent, cent. So how many years in a century? How many cents in a dollar? I would say 37. 37 is a really good guess, right? Do you know how many cents are in a dollar? Yeah. How many? Uh, no, no, I mean, 100. 100, well done. Yeah. Cent means 100. So percent <laughs> out of 100 basically means 63 out of 100 is 63%. 63%. I know, I know. <laughs> He's like, what? Is that cool? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so what's, really the, cool. what's the look? The look is, I didn't get it before, but now I do. And that's easy. Okay, so all I need to do is get this number. Because if we get this number, then you'll say whatever out of 100 will be that percent, right? Mm -hmm. Right? If I just erase this and I made it 47 out of 100, what percent is that? 47%. 47 percent. You're right, you get it, you get it. Now we just need this number. 20 times what is 100? Five. I, I totally, yeah. <laughs> we went, we were like in mind games. I gave you the answer, but then you gave me the problem. That was cool. Yeah, five times what is 100? You were right. Five times two is 10, try again. Five times what is 100? You're right though. What is it, five times what is 100? Take a second. Five times 100 would be 500. What? Right. Oh, five, five times what? Five times, five, times five times 10 would be 50. So what's 100? Five times 100. Five times 100 would be 500. I'm going to tell you, okay? Wait, you, want to... you want me to tell you? Yeah. I'm happy to tell you. It's okay. 20. What's interesting is you actually said that at the beginning. I said 20 times what is 100? You said five. 20 times five, oh, man. rock and roll, you're cool. Now if I multiply the bottom by 20, I have to multiply the top by 20. Mm -hmm. So times five. Two times 20 makes? Oh, two, two times 20 equals 40. 40, bravo. So this is all we did. You agreed that if we get a number over 100, you know what percent it is. Mm -hmm. You said 47 over 100 would be 47%. In other words, 
the person named Trey knows that any time a number over 100, if you have it over 100, you could say that percent. Is that fair so far? Yeah. And then we're like, well, this isn't over 100, but we want to make it over 100. So you have to multiply by something to make that happen, right? Mm -hmm. And then you multiply both top and bottom by 20, and you get 40 over 100. What percent is that, young friend? 40 over 40. 40%. Good job, dude. <laughs> well done. Well done. You're totally getting it.